It's 5 p.m. Start the party. Broadcasting around the world. Broadcastlink.com. This is your number one internet station. The music you love right here, right now. Polka's After Dark, live. Hey, well, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, it's all good because you guys are here with us and we're here with you on the Sunday edition of Polkas After Dark on our broadcast link. With the C. Oh, dot com. Sorry, and your I have my mic far away and oh. I'm just like all discombobulated. Oh. Hi, everyone. I was, I, was wondering, I was wondering what happened there. <laughs> All of a sudden, your uh, microphone's like way over your knees, Jahanga there. I was busy doing something else and forgot to pull the mic in. See? See how you are? <laughs> Just brain dead. Oh, boy. <laughs> now accepting applications for a co-host. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, we hope you had a great Christmas. We sure did. And thanks to those who joined us last evening on Polka's After Dark for a Christmas edition. We had a blast. Today, we're going to have a blast. You know why? Ask me why. Why? Because we're going to be talking live with Canada's Polka King, Mr. Walter Ostinick, three-time Grammy winner, multiple Grammy nominations, and it's just going to be a lot of fun here today. So thanks for joining us on Polka's After Dark. We're broadcasting live on our broadcast link on Facebook, as well as our YouTube channel. And the chat rooms are now open, so please feel free to jump in. Hey, let's bring up a song by Mr. Walter Ostinick. Check this out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Canada's Polka King, Walter Ostinick, and the Western Senators with the Valley Spring Polka. song kind of took a, a short turn how about Walter once again here's one called I love to polka I'm dancing with my sweetheart I will always 
Hey, yeah, getting things back on track here on a Sunday afternoon. Polka's After Dark. Thanks so much for joining Jerry and I. Hey, it looks like we got some people in our chat rooms, Jerry. Why don't you give them a little bit of a shout out? Why don't you? With all my technical difficulties, With all including your technical... you not putting my mic on. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, you didn't have it in front of you now. I didn't have you turned up. That's, that's kind of that a great seems thing. normal for us. That's a great thing. We have Chris. Curtis, Dave Lasowski, Donna Zelinsky with Teresa and Sarah. Kathy Graves is here with us today. Les and Alice Kathy. Kapochinski and Marsha Moscato. Uh-huh. And I just finally got onto Facebook yeah. on my phone. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can't get it on my computer for yeah. whatever reason. Don't know why. And there we're going to say hello to Mark Schroeder, Rick Kordakowski, John Subcheck. Hey, it looks like Pete Chacho's here. Pete Chacho was next on, on my list. <laughs> Pete's waiting on the kids at basketball practice, it says. And we've got Tommy Hoke here. Steve Gramala is tuned in today. Okay. And let's go ahead and say hello to... Also to uh, Monica and Tim. And it looks like Jan Dressler just joined us. So, so much, uh, so much music, so little time. Here's Eddie Bozonchek and the Versatones, tune called Everybody's Reaching Out. Just like the trees along the river bend Reach out their branches to the sun above We spend our lifetimes reaching for a friend Cause everybody needs someone to love Everybody's reaching out for someone Everybody's knocking at some door And long before I ever found you You're the one that I was reaching for Since the day my life began I heard your footsteps running just beyond my mind Ever since that moment I've been reaching for your hand Hoping you'd be reaching out for mine Everybody's reaching out for someone Everybody's knocking at some door Reaching for 
is reaching for I'm not the only one saying this. We sure miss that guy, miss that band. Eddie was on check, the late Eddie B, Sr., and the Versatones. Let's bring up a tune done up by the Crew Brothers, but this is a rendition by The Project. Here's one called Judy Polka. <laughs> The first in 10 recording, that's one called Judy Polka, and that is the sound of the project. Hey, if you're just joining us, well, welcome to Polka's After Dark. We're here streaming live on Facebook as well as our YouTube channel and our broadcast link. With a C. Dot com. Hey, we want to welcome all you guys, and we're excited because in just a few more minutes, we're going to be making a call up north up to Canada Way. Because we're going to be talking live with Walter Ostinick, Canada's polka king, accordionist extraordinaire, entertainer extraordinaire, I must say. Uh, let's bring up another song by Walter. Here's one called The Broken Heart Polka. You told me you'd be true But now you 
found another and left me sad and blue. But now you found another and left me sad and blue. My heart is aching. Hey, we're going to say hello to Mr. Fred Gordon. Welcome and thanks for joining us today, Fred. My heart is aching, my heart is breaking, knowing that I must find someone new. And Dennis McCauley-Eski, welcome. Good evening to George Ann. Also, Frank Murkowski out Cleveland Way. You told me once you loved me. You told me you'd be true. But now you found another and left me sad and blue. But now you found. My heart is aching, my heart is breaking, knowing that I must find someone new. My heart is aching, my heart is breaking, knowing that I must find someone new. Walter Austin at Canada's Polka King, and I'm just checking the clock here. We're going to be talking to him in less than 15 minutes. Can you believe it? Polkas After Dark. Hey, how about a tune that we haven't played in a little while? Here's our band from Buffalo, Focus. Here is one titled Barstanders Polka. We're going to send this one out to all the barstanders from the Buffalo Polka Boosters. First one's to the door and first one's on the floor to dance and greet the couples passing by. They come from near and far to put a leg up on the bar. They're here for fun, I'm sure that you'll agree. They're the barstanders Sour, Merry Christmas to you. Also, Dan Novak tuned in from New Mexico. While the others say goodbye, we play for them not one or two but three. They're the bystanders, the bystanders, with the stir and twist of wine.
great sing-along songs, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to have everybody join in and sing along with the band. In heaven, there is no fear. That's why we drink and beer. And when we're gone, cubes in that beer. beer. Mike, let's tell about the ice cubes. Beer. Ice cubes and beer, boys. Ice cubes and beer. All that she drank was ice cubes and beer. She was my sweetie. I loved her dear. All that she drank was ice cubes and beer. Oh, beer. Oh, yes. Ice and beer, beer. in a day like today. Beer. Ice and beer. 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 One of the most popular beer songs of all time, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody sing it all. Roll out the barrel. We have a barrel of fun. Everybody. Roll out the barrel. We've got the blues on the run. Sing. Some great beer. sing along songs beer. of the day. Beer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, beer. one of the beer songs beer. of the decade, recorded by Jerry Dalek and the Touch. Here we go, everybody. Beer. Cause we like beer. Now, everybody cheer. We're glad that you're all here. So, pour it right in here. Cause we like beer. Now, everybody cheer. We're glad that you're all here. Let's have another beer. Well, the one thing that I'll never try, places where the town is dry, not a beer you can buy, it makes me want to cry. Hold your mug up where you are, let's get a beer, it can't be far. Give the keys, hop in the car, and drive me to a bar. Cause we like cheer, now everybody cheer. We're glad that you're all here, so far it right in here. Cause we like cheer, now everybody cheer. We're glad that you're all here. Let's have another beer Cause we like beer Now everybody cheer oh, yeah. We're glad that you're all here So pour it right in here Cause we like beer Now everybody cheer We're glad that you're all here Ladies and gentlemen, raise your glasses high Enjoy your favorite brew, your favorite drink Ein Prosit Gindane! Gindane! Salud! Salud! Buena suerte! Live it up! Buena Shoot suerte. the moon! Nazro! Hey, that's the late great Jerry Darlack and the touch that was recorded live at the Sportsman, one called the Beer Medley. And we're excited because in less than five minutes, we're going to be talking live with Canada's Polka King, Mr. Walter Ostenick. Jerry, before we do that, why don't you give a quick rundown of some more folks in our chat rooms over there on Facebook, as well as our broadcast link. Well, over on our broadcast link with the C, Les and Alice Kapuczynski wrote, Missing all the barstanders, sitters, dancers, <laughs> everyone. Oi! Les and Alice, we truly miss you guys as well yeah. and can't wait until we can be together again. And also, I want to just jump in because uh, Les is always so, so gracious 
to send over photographs of all of the individuals that we have been interviewing over the past i can't believe this almost two almost years two years two years it's going to be in march of 2022 and uh Les, thank you so much. We've got some great photographs of Walter Ostenick. We've got him on the phone. We're going to be bringing him up real soon. But go ahead, Jerry, and, and finish with your listings there. I would love to. We have Andy Haverlick with us. He's wishing everyone a very Merry ho Christmas and Happy Holiday Season. Chris Curtis is with us. Dave Lisowski. Donna Zelinsky with Teresa and Sarah. We have Kathy Graves back with us, and I told her it's so nice to see her again. Marcia Moscato, Polka Patty. And then on our Facebook, we have Mark Schwoger, Dan the Man, my brother, Mary Lou Cherniak is joining us, as well as Loretta Cur Curtis Mackle. And we have Jan Dressler, as well as Tommy Hoke, Ed Sawyer, Rick Gordakowski, and I think I'm close to the top. And yes, you are. Okay. And, yep. and, <laughs> and Robert also, Mazur. And oh, Rob Mazur from Polish Newcastle Radio. Don't forget to catch their broadcasts every single weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They've got some great IJs, some great hosts, uh, some female hosts as well. I remember that uh, Jeanette Tonsky is doing her emergency 911 a polka program which is great we got a chance to catch that hey let's get one more song up here by walter before we bring him live on the phone with us <laughs> let's see if this one makes it i love to polka once again What a great intro to bring up. Canada's Polka King right here live with us on Polka's After Dark. We want to welcome to our broadcast here of Polka's After Dark. Heard every Sunday when we get a chance to interview some great polka personalities. And this guy is one of the class acts of Canada. Mr. Walter Ostenick, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And Walter, can you hear me? Absolutely. Hey, beautiful. Loud and clear. Beautiful. Well, we can hear you loud and clear too, Walter. Thank you so much for joining well, us and taking time, especially uh, this Sunday after Christmas. I know we had you originally scheduled for December the 12th, and unfortunately, we had a pretty nasty power outage in this area here in yes. Western New York. So I thank you yeah, so much well, for accommodating our schedule, sir. It's my pleasure. Hey, you know, Walter, you have done so much for the polka music industry. And first of all, I want to say that congratulations. You are our three-time uh, Grammy winner, and you've been nominated so many, many times uh, for uh, your recordings. And tell us a little bit about uh, your travels, because I know that you have been to California for that, have you not? Yes, so every time, I, I was twice in New York, I was nominated 21 times, wow. I was twice in New York City, and 19 times in California. I <laughs> went there for every one, and I had a wonderful time at each and every one of them. Wow. So it, it was a, it was unbelievable, I just can't explain how fantastic it was. Now, Walter, yeah, for my wife and I, what were yeah. the names of the recordings that you won? Uh, the first one, <laughs> good question. I know uh, Music and Friends was the last one, and the uh, second one was uh, uh, Accordingly Yours. And you know what? I'm having a little bit of a memory block here. Well, no, and I forget my first one. No, that's yeah, fine. The and, first one. And I am going to yeah, make yeah. mention. I'm going to make mention here real quick, Walter, that uh, Big Steve and the Bel Airs, which I played with during that era 
on the uh, Walter Ostenick and Friends recording. We were so fortunate to be part of that recording uh, with a TikTok and Take well, Me Baby song. But you had a lot of guys on that's there. That's right. You had a lot uh, of yeah, bands performing. I had a lot of guys. I had a lot of guys on there, and it was my pleasure. And uh, like I said, I've had a wonderful career. Now it's like uh, I'm in the, uh, how can I say it, in the uh, farewell area. But the thing is that my memories, I every day when I wake up, I thank the Lord that I was so blessed with all the different people I worked with and met and got to know them, and uh, it was like, I, I not only played Cleveland-style polkas, but I was good friends with, you know, and I think a little Wally, I was good friends with uh, Vasily Stash, I was uh, Marion Lush, oh. with, uh, with uh, Eddie Rosanchik, uh, you know, Jimmy Stir, and I uh, got to know Walt Solik and Frank Wojnarowski wow. and Ray Henry, and I used to go to Buffalo and watch these guys play at St. John's Candy Lyceum. Every Sunday night, they were somebody, Al Soika was there too, um, uh, um, Stan Wallowick and the Poker Chips. I mean, uh, everybody was there, you know what I mean? And it was wonderful, Gene Wisniewski. Oh. And, uh, you know, these are guys, and like I said, not only the Cleveland guys, but the Polish guys and German also. Yeah. So I got kind of, you know, Eddie, Eddie Gusa and John Good is a good friend of mine. And, you know, I just talked to John a couple of days ago. And, uh, you know, we're still the best of friends. And, you know, and I see now Molly B and, uh, you know, Ted Lang, oh. they're doing great. And uh, Alex Meister and, well, uh, Jan Levon, uh, you know, it's... Uh, like I said, it's just been wonderful, you know. Walter, so. let me ask you, how many years have you been playing polka music? Well, I started, actually, I was just at a 90th birthday party two weeks ago, today. Okay. And the thing is that I didn't realize I was 15 years old when I played their wedding. Wow. And the lady... the the husband passed away, but the lady was celebrating her oh. <laughs> 90th birthday, and I forgot that I played their wedding by <laughs> myself. No band, just me Is alone. Right? But I've had my band. I've had my band since uh, January 26, 1957. 1957. That's the day that I started my band. And then I got married to my wife, Irene, on February 22nd, 1957. Wow. And tomorrow... It's her birthday. She's passed away, but it's her birthday tomorrow, the 27th. God yeah. bless so. her. Well, happy heavenly birthday to Mrs. Osanic. Yes, yes. God bless her. Yeah. And, uh, boy, you yeah, know, Walter, you. Walter, you. your career has just stretched over, over the decades. And tell us some of the favorite places that you have played throughout your career. I'm well, sure, I'm sure I you've done a lot. Yeah, I played with uh, Hawaii in Hawaii with Don Ho uh, on his show. Don Ho oh, wow. with Frankie Yankovic. Okay, that was a big thing for me. I was also on a Johnny Carson show uh, in New York City when he was in New York. And I was with Frankie Yankovic on that. I got to thank Frank for a lot of things. And then I did the Phil Donahue show in Chicago with Frankie Yankovic. And I met Lawrence Welk for the first time. Wow. I also appeared on the Lawrence Welk show after he passed away already, but I was with Myron Florin, oh. and I did a, a thing in uh, Branson, Missouri, two years, Polka Festival there, and he had me on playing the clarinet polka with him on television. Wow. I also, uh, uh, with the Riders in the Sky, Joey Miskelin, who plays with the Riders in the Sky, they're on the Grand Ole Opry, all the time. I had the pleasure of being on the Grand Ole Opry with the Riders in the Sky. And then with Yankovic, I, I also went to not only Hawaii, but uh, we went to Europe together. And uh, I've been also in, uh, in Holland uh, three times. And, uh, you know, and it's just been 
absolutely, oh, we're in Rio de Janeiro as well, and and uh, like I said, it's just been just been wonderful, you know. Wow, that is truly, truly amazing. Walter, was accordion your first instrument? Yes, yeah, I played I played button accordion, the what they call a diatonic button accordion, okay. where you push and pull. It's two different sounds, okay, and and then I went from diatonic. I went to piano accordion because the guys that I was playing with when I moved to Thorold before I moved to St. Catharines, we went to school and he said, well, Walter, the button accordion is okay, but you should learn how to play the piano accordion. So I, I bugged my dad and he got me a piano accordion. And, and from there on, I started taking lessons. And, you know, one thing led, I started my, I, one of my, I think one of the first bands that I played in, and we were together as a co-op band. I was 16 years old, so, yeah. Amazing. Now, I got to ask you this. So it's, it's, yeah. I got to ask you this because I do not know the answer to this. The button accordion, is that very similar to a concertina that you're restricted no. to so many so many keys no. that you can play yeah. in? You're right, you're right. Like in the piano, uh, button accordion that I play, mind you, I have them in different keys, mm-hmm. but the main keys are C, F, and B flat. Okay, okay. That is one that anybody that plays a button accordion, my style, diatonic, uh, they they have that key, C, F, and B flat, because if they go and play somewhere, a guy's going to Cleveland or someplace, or Pittsburgh, and if they're playing button accordions, Mostly, everybody has a CF and B flat. Gotcha. Now, and again, yep. with the uh, with the regular piano accordion, do you also play piano as well? No, you don't. No, I couple times, couple times when I had a <clears throat> excuse me bypass, <clears throat> I couldn't play piano accordion. I so I played right hand on the piano. Okay, okay I had a, a portable piano with me. But I had somebody else playing the accordion, and I d- I've done that a couple times. I had a pacemaker put in. I had to do the same thing. Okay. But otherwise, I I can play the right hand, but not the left hand. Now, Walter, with all your recordings, tell us a couple of the places that you've recorded. What studios? And do you have a favorite studio and a favorite engineer? Well, my favorite engineer. It's Peppermint Recording Studio <laughs> in Youngstown, Ohio. Everybody's okay? favorite. Now, he, that's right. I mean, John Gouda goes there. Lenny Gamolka goes there. You know what I mean? And many, 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 regardless of your Cleveland style or Polish style or German style, I mean, the thing is that that is the number one. Now, I recorded at Rainbow Recording in Niagara Falls. I recorded at... Bobby Cravis' uh, studio in in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, oh. who Bobby Cravis is a uh, grandnephew to Frankie Yankovic. Oh, okay. But uh, he had his own studio, and uh, but I, like I said, I I recorded also in in, uh, in uh, Switzerland. I did an album in Switzerland, oh. and but the thing is, my favorite, my favorite is is Peppermint Recording, Gary Ramey. He, when I did albums, doesn't matter where I recorded them, but he did my mixing. Yes, yeah. He mixed. He mixed my albums because he gave me a a, a, a regular. In other words, I don't care where I recorded, but he gave me a consistent mix. Yes. Okay, and uh, you know, like every engineer has their own own ideas. Like I even went to Johnny Krasancic, uh Marjan Records, which were in Mar- Hermitage, Pennsylvania, which is only like thirty miles from Youngstown. Yeah. And people used to say to me, "How come that you stay over Johnny Krasancic's with Marjan Records, and yet you record at Peppermint?" I said, "Well." We understand each other. We're friends, you know, yeah. and uh, that's the way it was. You know, I had my own strict rules. It was that's the way it had to be. And if I recorded with anybody else, we had to mix it at Peppermint oh, Recording. That's great. Well, we had the pleasure and the opportunity this year, uh, just a few months back, to speak with Gary Ramey. And what a tremendous yeah. guy. And everybody that we talked to, all the musicians, 
they all point to Gary. Like you said, whether you record with him or not, he always does the final yeah. mix and does just a spectacular yeah. job on he, everything. He is, uh, He's got he a tremendous a ear. Wonderful guy. Yeah, wonderful guy. Not only a, a good mixer and a recorder, but he's also a nice guy. Yes, know? yes, here, here. And yeah. he's got a tremendous ear for all of that. No, ter- terrific, yeah, terrific. I can sleep. There was times when, times when I was tired, I would be sleeping on a Chesterfield right in the studio, <laughs> and he'd be, he'd be mixing my he, stuff. And yeah. then when he, when he finished with the mix, then he'd call me, wake me up, and I would listen to it. Yeah, I'd approve it, and then go to the next tune. Yeah, yeah that's a uh, that's a real uh, cushy like sofa. Uh, it's like stories on top of stories on top of stories. Yeah, because we used to sometimes mix till two, three, or four o'clock in the morning. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I, I had to have the stuff done, and I had to have it out, and uh, we did what we had to do. You know, so yeah. But, but again, like I said. I went. To, I, I, I probably could never go through this again, but I had a wonderful life, a wonderful wife, and I had a good bunch of guys, and I played with with the best in my field. Yeah. And I'm friends. Anybody that's alive, I'm still friends with every one of them. And I just during Christmas, I, I talked to a whole bunch of guys that are uh-huh. some of the Hank Haller just retired, oh, and wow. we were talking, and you know. Yeah, so, it's wonderful, you know. Now, Walter, what kind of music do you listen to? What is your favorite besides polka music? What does Walter Ostinick listen to when he's not listening to I, or playing polkas? Okay, I love classic country. Oh, okay. Well, that... Okay, l- you, know, you know, the thing is, I'm playing still with the uh, Rambly Lou family band. Now, I didn't play at all this year because of COVID right. and uh, getting across the border and that. But the thing is that I'm still with the band as of today. I was supposed to play in, uh, a couple of weeks ago, Christmas a party, but again, I had to cancel on, on all my jobs. Well, you know, I was supposed to play with Jimmy's. Yeah. I was going to mention, uh, because I know that I have seen you numerous times in Kenmore, New York, when you played Kenmore Days and played uh, with uh, the Ramblin' Lou family band. Yeah. A lot of jobs there. I'm still with them. Yeah. I'm still with them, and when COVID clears up, I'll probably be still with them, because she said she missed me, Uh, and uh, I said, I'm sorry, you know, I can't be there, and... That's the, the rest of the story, you know. Sure, I mean, until sure. things clear up, yeah. So I've got my three shots, and you know what I mean. And uh, like I said, I hope well, pretty soon that this is going to be over, but it's yeah. not over yet. So we just got to wait it out and do the best we can. Hey, Walter, you mentioned so many places that you've performed: Rio de Janeiro, Hawaii. What is? What are some of the top tours that you did? Some of the top places well, in, in your heart and in your I mind. Went, okay. The one thing that I did many years ago, first of all, right now I am taking all my VCRs, okay, uh-huh. and changing them over to DVD. Oh, now, that's great. I was, I, I was in Hamilton, Ontario on television in the 60s for two, uh, four years, okay? All right. Four years. Uh, and then I was in Kitchener, Ontario for 24 years on television. Now, the last 12 years, I recorded in Regina, Saskatchewan okay. with Brian Scar and the Western Senators. Yes. Now we have, we're still on TV four times a week right now. Okay. Now we haven't been recording in the last 10 years. But we're still on TV four times a week wow. on Access Television in Regina, Saskatchewan. Uh. So I'm still on, but but my own shows, I used to tape them, but I never had time to watch them sure. because I, w- I was busy. In those days, I mean, I was working, I had a music store in St. Catharines. Between the music store and the band, 
I mean, I never had no time to be watching television shows. You know what I mean? Sure. I was sure. here, there, and everywhere. You know. <laughs> and uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, my son just uh, on Christmas Eve, he was he runs the store that's bought us out in St. Catharines, and uh, young guys that are playing. They come to that work at the store and say to Rick, my son, Rick, you think I can start working tomorrow at 12 o'clock because I'm playing a job. I might not get home till 2 o'clock in the morning. And my son said, you know what? We played in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we get home 6 <laughs> o'clock in the morning. We were, we were at work at 9 o'clock sharp when we opened that store. Yeah. It was 9 o'clock sharp, not 10 after 9, 9 o'clock sharp. Yeah. He said, you want to take the morning off, you go ahead. <laughs> so he was telling him, you know, the, the thing is that what we used to do, because my son used to play with us in, in my band at one time. So oh. he learned what it was all about going on the road. I mean, when I ran the store, we were there punctual at 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't care what time we got home, yeah. you know, so... Oh, good for you. Well, but you know what? That's a different story. That's the way you were brought up. Now, you're. where were you yes. born? I was born in Duparquet, Quebec. Okay. I was born in Quebec in a little town called Duparquet. And my father worked in the gold mine. And when the gold mine closed up, we moved to Ontario. Okay. And uh, in the St. Catharines area, I've lived the rest of my life. I was five years old when I moved from Duparquet, wow. thank God for that, and uh, I've been in Ontario every day, you know, and the house that I bought in 1974 that I'm here in the uh, in uh, the family room right now, uh, uh, I bought it in 1974, and uh, I mean, all my, all my be beautiful feelings and, and uh, things that I've done and people that I've had over the house and that, uh, all, you know, in the family, um, I have no sad feelings about this house where I'm right now. Oh, uh, that's great. It, I'm, you know, I've just had a wonderful, wonderful life living at this particular house, you know. That is great. Now, so, in speaking with some folks, I understand that you are a collector of some hockey memorabilia. Is that correct? I got lots of hockey memorabilia i have met many many hockey players oh, wow. okay and i have lots of autographs autographs tons and tons of autographs of hockey players oh. and uh, uh also hockey sticks and sweaters and uh you know i, I mean i stopped collecting now but sure. i've got so much stuff i have no place to put it and it's just like, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, I did 107, 107, 108 albums that I have out. Wow. You know what I mean? Now I have a guy in Holland that we're going to be calling tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in the morning. He's got every one of my tunes that I recorded Ooh. from the time I started to now. And uh, he also, uh, he has... Uh, also re re releases some of my old stuff, different, uh, he has a different uh, things that he does, but yeah. but uh, every year he has a new album, picking up tunes from here, now I have a guy in Regina, Saskatchewan, I got nominated 21 times, and he's taking one song from every album and making an album, uh, the best of Walter Osmick, oh. and one tune from every one of the 21 albums that oh, I got that is uh, nominated. Yeah, so. That is beautiful. So these are things that are still going, and it just, uh, what I, like, you know, the thing is, I, there's still people that are calling me, and, and uh, I mean, the thing is that, I, like I said, I'm not, I don't, right now, I haven't had too much work. I was busy in October, and uh, the, the jobs that I had to cancel and all that, but the thing is that I'm sitting here, and I have, my outfits. I mean, I, every day now, I didn't play the accordion for a year, mm -hmm. but now, uh, starting in, in August last last year, I, 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 I well this year, I started uh, practicing because I had to play during Oktoberfest and I, I was getting rusty, so I didn't play it for a year before that, 
And uh, so now what I'm doing, I ride my bicycle in my recreation room downstairs, my stationary bicycle. Okay. I listen to a polka record, okay? Different polka records all the time. If there's a lot of tunes on there, it might be, take me two days to listen to the album. <laughs> now, and then, what I do, I go upstairs, I watch TV, and uh, I lift uh, dumbbells, seven and a half pound dumbbells. Oh, Today okay. I did 200, okay? I lifted 200 dumbbells, wow. uh, 50 at a time, take a break, 50 at a time. 200, and then, I haven't done it yet today, I go up and play the accordion for half an hour or an hour, and that's my, tr you know, that's what I like to do, so I can keep my traps going, regardless if I'm playing or not, sure. you know what I mean, so it doesn't matter, yeah, now so, one of, and that is what, one of our viewers yes. had asked, Walter, how many accordions do you have? I still have 90. Ninety accordions, nine zero. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, so you can't have a favorite one that you pick up, but I'll bet you these things are oh, all yeah. over the house yeah. in different rooms. No, and, no, 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 no. I have, but, I have favorites. Yeah. I, I actually, uh, you know, I have a few favorites, okay. and uh, then I have the favorite that I record with. You know what I mean? That I feel the best on my body. You what know, what do you I record have, uh, with? Which one do you which one do you record with, Walter? Uh, I, I record with an Italo American. Oh made okay. in Chicago. All right. In nineteen fifty two. Okay. All my personal recordings are American made. Okay? All right. And uh, from way back. Not now. I'm talking well, first of all, they don't make any accordions now in mm -hmm. that I know of in the United States. All right. But the thing is in the old days, after in the forties up till about 65, they made accordions in the United States, in New York, in uh, San Francisco, in Detroit, in uh, Milwaukee, uh, Chicago, and mine, mine were made in Chicago, Italo-American, okay? okay? It was Italians making them, but making them right in Chicago. Yeah. Wow. And then I have a few made in New York City, okay, okay as well, and, you know, a couple of button boxes, that are made in Cleveland, Ohio, you know. Okay. So. Hey, Walter, yeah. do you have a most memorable gig? Like one that really sticks in your mind? Maybe it was the largest crowd that you performed for? Or maybe it was just the most fun crowd that you performed for? But do you have a most memorable well, it, gig? You know, the thing is that I have so many, it's hard to really say that, uh, you know, you know what I mean? Like, Sure. It, it, it's, you know, it's, it's hard to, you know, the thing is that I, I like, I was, I went to Hawaii six times with my wife, okay. and uh, I got to know Don Ho, and I liked what he did, you know what I mean? And oh, yeah. to be on the, on the show with him, but being with Lawrence Walk, I was watching Lawrence Walk today, uh, his Christmas show. Okay. Like, I knew most of those players personally, wow. you know, because I met him in Branson and different places, but being with Lawrence Walk also, but becoming good friends with Myron Florin, I mean, uh, when I used to go to California the last probably 10 years, I would call him up because he wasn't as busy. In the younger days, he was busy all the time. He was never home. But later on, as he got older, he got older, uh, he was home normally in that time of year, you know, which is January, February, yeah. when the Grammys were on, I would call him up ahead of time. Are you going to be home? Yes, I'm going to be home. You want to go for a steak dinner? Yeah. Okay. So we went to the same place all the time. Uh -huh. And then I had a Polish friend of mine, uh, John Lipinski. He uh, uh, worked for a, a grocery store and he said, Walter, don't rent the car anymore. Or lease the car. Just or you know, uh, I'll pick you up, you and your wife, and then you can stay at our house for a couple of days, uh -huh. and we'll get together with Myron and Florin. And so he did all the driving for me. So we would, my wife and I would stay with them for maybe two or three or four days, and then when it was time to go to the Grammys, he'd take us to the hotel, and they were gone. Uh -huh. And then when we join in with all the guys that were nominated for, you know, 
so it was fantastic. And getting together with Myron Florin, uh, that made my, you know, I mean, he was just a nice oh. guy and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, sure. And, and then I met a lot of other guys in California, too. And I also played in California. Okay. So, yeah, these are things. And, you know, I, I went to I went to Milwaukee. I played in Pittsburgh and, uh, well, New York City and, and uh, you know, in uh, all the different places, you know, in Walter, the Catskill Mountains and the Poconos. Yeah. Walter, who did who did you idolize? Who did you look up to Frankie growing Anchorage. up? It was Frankie Yankovic. Frankie Yankovic. He was Frankie your hero. Frankie Yankovic. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know, I, I, I have his accordion, one of his last two accordions I own. Do you okay? really? I have another accordion that he played that I have, and I also have, you've heard of Pee Wee King, he wrote the Tennessee Waltz. Yes. Pee Wee King, okay? Wow. Well, I got to know him going for the Grammys. He lived in Louisville, Kentucky. And I was a member of Nashville chapter of the Grammys, Naris, okay? Okay. And they used to have a party for us. Now, I had more fun going to that party than I did actually going to the Grammy party because I met everybody in country music that was nominated. Wow. So I bet even Carrie Underwood that's there now and uh, uh, Taylor Swift, I got pic- I've got pictures with all these and Keith Urban. Oh. Uh, all, and I'm just mentioning the newer guys. Yeah, but I met Johnny Cash and Will and Jennings and and uh, you know just one one guy after you know Bill Anderson, this guy, that guy, and uh, all the guys who were on the Grand Ole Opry, they were all there. If they were nominated, they were all there. And so every year I would meet new people that got nominated and they would be there. I met Johnny Cash's son, John Carter Cash, you know, and it went on. And I mean, I was so excited meeting all these people, wow. but Brad Paisley and Vince Gill and, you know, and it goes on and on and on, you know. That is truly uh, amazing. You know, Walter, would you have dreamed in your wildest dreams no, that you would have no. been so successful as you are today? You know, the thing is, I had a dream. Uh, you know, I did have a dream, but I never thought that the dream would come true. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But I had a, I had tunnel vision. I, what I always say is, like, I, 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 I followed Frankie Ankovic, and I became really good friends with Frankie Till the day he died, we were the best of friends. Uh, now, we tangled once in a while. Don't get me wrong, we didn't argue. But sorry. you have to, when you're good friends, sooner or later you're going to have an argument. Oh, sure. Or there, you know. Yeah, but the thing is that he inspired me. Uh, he, the point is, he didn't teach me nothing. I just watched what he did. Yeah. And he came on stage, and he had a smile on his face, regardless if he was... Uh, no matter what was wrong with him. But the minute he got on stage, he was a different person. Wow. He would not know the guy he could be miserable 10 minutes before and get on stage and act like nothing's that bothering him and be smiling and, and getting the crowd going. And I watched all that. And you know the old saying is, if you watch a successful person, you might never be as successful but you'll always be a success. You follow a failure, and you're guaranteed a failure. Guaranteed. And that's always been in my mind. Guaranteed. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, sure. Hey, and, it, you hey, know, hey, and you then know. I talk to a lot of young young people that come up to me and say, well, Walter, you know, you got a dream. I said, yes, but the dream is you don't dream for the sky. You dream for the clouds. Once you get to the clouds, if you're lucky, you can go by the clouds, past the clouds. Yeah. But if you dream for the sky, it's never ending. So you're never going to get to where you want to go. But if you dream for the clouds, you can get there and surpass your clouds. And these are little sayings that, you know what I mean? Sure, sure. Hey, you know, Walter, yeah. I love I love asking uh, this question to every everybody yeah, that ahead. we have interviewed. 
Do you have a favorite breakdown story where you were going to a gig and you guys got waylaid because the vehicle broke down or you missed a flight or something like that? Do you have a favorite one? Well, I'll tell you, I was going to a job one time and I had my truck, I had a van, Dodge van, okay. and uh, we had all the stuff in the van, the maxi van, okay? I still have a maxi, but this time I have a Ford, Ford but I had a maxi Dodge. Okay. And I was having trouble with the tires, uh, the peeling, the rubber peeling out, so I bought bigger tires for, for the, the back than the front. So now, here we're going to a job, and I get a flat tire. All right, so now, I go and I jack up the car, the truck, and I take the tire off. All right. Now I got the spare. I go to put the spare on. The spare was hitting the, the fender. Oh. Was hitting my fender. And I had a hammer in the truck. Oh. I took that like a small sledgehammer. I went and smashed the bumper, oh. I mean the fender, so I could get the wheel on. Oh, holy smokes. These are kind of things, these are kind of things, you know, or going down a hill in, in Guelph, Ontario, and it was raining and it was freezing. Okay, I'm going down a hill with a car, and those days I had a car and a trailer. I'm going down a hill, and I go to, and there's a guy parked sideways on the road at the bottom of the hill, and here he is standing in front of his car. And me, I'm coming down very slow, coming down the hill. I can't stop because it's icy. So what do I do? I have, you know, I'm panicking. Here's this guy standing in front of the, in front of his vehicle. So, you know, once you start waking up a little bit, I took my wheels and I put them into the curb. Okay. okay. I moved it into the curb, and I was sliding down the hill uh. along the curb. Believe it or not, I stopped and fell 10 feet in front of the car. Wow. I'm telling you, oh, man, what a feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, what a feeling. Then one time, I was coming home, stupid. I was, again, a uh, station wagon and a trailer, and there's it's, it's snowing hard. Now you got two snow plows in front of me, okay? And it was wet snow. Right. So now... I, I, the, the guys in the front throwing the snow to the right, and the guy at the back throwing it into the ditch. So me, jerk off here, I go up and I go slow onto the left, and I pass the guy behind to the right. Okay, now I pull in front. Okay, and I'm going, but I didn't have my windshield wipers on. Well, the one in front threw the snow and actually hit right on my windshield. All of a sudden. I have, I don't see anything. Yeah. Now, what do you do? You got two snow plows behind you, okay? And you don't know where you're going. So I took my foot up off the accelerator and just kind of coasted. And I felt us going down a little bit and up. And I come up, and by that time, I got my winter wipers going. Well, guess what? There was no in the medium and now they have guardrails but when I went down there there was no guardrails oh. so I went down through the snow wound up on the other side of the Queenswood Highway going the wrong way okay but oh, lucky boy. it was 3 o'clock in the morning snowing nobody was on the highway Yeah. so the guy the snow plow stopped and there was a area where I could get back on the right lane and he let me get back on the right lane. But when we went to the left and went down, and I and I was saying, boy, what a fantastic driver I am. I'm still on the road, but not realizing I'm going the wrong way. Oh, but boy. the thing is, the, the, the snow hit my yeah hit my trailer and made a gash in my trailer, and that's how oh. I would turn to the left, you know. And we went, like I said, these are things that all happen, all kinds of things like this. Oh. I had a deer. I, I missed two deer. I said, oh, boy, we're really coming from Pittsburgh. Oh, boy, really, look at how lucky I am. But a boom, the third one came, and I dead right in front of my truck. Uh, smashed the whole truck, but uh, still we got home. 
but the girl was smashed and, and uh, you know, but we got home. So. Oh. Well, it sounds like you but, were but fortunate that, that, that and blessed. Dollar. Sounds like you, you were know, fortunate you know, and blessed. If you're on the highway a lot, sooner or later you have things that happen. Sure. You can't be lucky. Well, I was lucky we never got hurt. Sure. You know? So, yeah, amen to that. Yeah, so these are these are things, you know. And, you know, in the old days, sometimes I'd be so tired. I used to have a run around the, around the truck and try to wake up and slap myself and uh, and throw water on myself. And oh, yeah. I did whatever I had to do. I'm sure all the other guys, same thing, you know what I mean? You did what you had to do. I was sure. young, ambitious, and... Um, we just did it. We go. We go to New York. Sa- finish a job on Saturday. Drive to New York Saturday night. Play in New York Sunday afternoon, and drive home. And I'd have the guys back home to go to work on Monday morning. Wow! Holy smokes! <laughs> hey, Walter. You want in- stories? Walter, in yeah, you've got you've had some great ones, boy. I could keep you on here for an hour, Walter. Hey, you know. <laughs> In in closing, though, I do want to ask you one more thing. What would yeah, Wal- what would Walter Ostenick say to someone who is just getting started into music, and it can be any genre of music whatsoever? What advice would you give to this person what just is, starting out? Today, yeah, to this day, this day today, okay. I say you have a dream. Go after your dream, yeah. but get yourself an education. Because I didn't have much education. I lucked out, you know what I mean? But today, without an education, uh, it's going to be a sad story. But uh, you go after your dream, but get a good education. If you don't make it in the music business, you have something to fall back on. And that's what I tell everybody that. And But go out and go after your dream, but get an education. Now, I didn't do that. I only have actually grade nine education, and, but I, I lucked out. But in the old days, it was a different story. Today, right. now everything's computer. I'm not on a computer. I have a cell phone. I use it very little. Okay. I'm using the phone, my home phone number here right now. And uh, I could be, a, I have a cell phone. I use it very little. I'm not on a computer, okay? I, I, I don't have even fancy, I have an aerial for television. I get 24 channels on my on my television. TV? And okay. that's plenty because I don't want to be watching TV all the time. I want to be doing this, that, and the other thing, going out for a coffee with my friends and so on. And that's what keeps me young. Walter, you are an amazing individual with so many accomplishments that I just can't fathom. I mean, I've been fortunate and been blessed, but to uh, to hear the stories of yours, and I'll tell you what, we could probably, without exaggeration, we could probably talk for hours and hours, but uh, Jerry and I do want to thank you so very, very much for taking the time out of your day. Uh, we took over a half an hour, almost 40 minutes, and I apologize for that. But you are just so easy. I got to... this for you. Go ahead. You got me going right now. I could go on forever. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. You're not hurting my feelings because I'm happy talking to you. And like I said, you want stories. There's a poet that wants to do a book on me right now. And I just read Yankovic's Yankovic's book last week. I found it. Now I know all the story of Yankovic's book, but the thing is, I read it. I read it in one week. Okay, and I don't read books, but I read it in one week wow. because I know his story, and that's my idol. Yeah. You know, that's so amazing. There's a lot of other guys. Don't get me wrong, but well, he was my number one idol. Walter, yeah, so. you know what? You know what we might do is into next year, into 2022, uh, we might be fortunate yeah. and blessed to talk to you again at some point. Maybe we can, you know, uh, let's let's see how. You want to know something? Go ahead. Any t- any time, and if you want to come down and see my accordions, and you want to see, I have a man cave, okay, where I have pictures <laughs> and this. You're talking about hockey pictures. I got all kinds of hockey players up there. Oh, wow. I have, uh, you know, guys from. I have Jim Kelly's Jim Kelly's autograph and thing on the wall. I have the French Connection with 
the Buffalo Sabres. Oh, you know wow. what I mean? I I have all. I got Bobby Orr. I have uh, uh, Wayne Gretzky. Oh. I have uh, you know just. I got all kinds of. Now I'm supposed to be having lunch with Pete Mahovlich, Frank Mahovlich. I know his brother. They were born in near Timmins and Schumacher. Okay. But, but his brother, Peter, I never met him. And I found out he lives in St. Catharines. Oh, and he's, wow. he's affiliated with uh, uh, Florida Panthers uh, hockey team. So there's going to be some time now between now and whenever we're going to have lunch together. So Wow, that's great. Well, Walter, thank you again. We are so fortunate to know you, to have rubbed shoulders with you, to have performed on a Grammy-winning CD, which was Walter Ostinick and uh, Friends. And we just thank you so very, very much. Uh, It's it's my pleasure, and I'd like to wish everyone, I know it's uh, after Christmas, but wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a good, healthy, and happy, prosperous 19. 22. Yes, here, here. Or 2022. 2022. Yeah, 2022. Yeah, all of us. All right, buddy. Thank you so much. God bless you. And let's take a listen to... You too. Let's take a listen to Regina the Polka Town. I'm packing up my bags. I'll soon be leaving. I'm going to Polka Town. That is where I met a girl one evening. Now I'm... Saskatchewan bound The wedding bells will ring out in Regina That's a place where I intend to settle down And listen to the rhythm of a polka In Regina, the polka town Regina, the polka town Soon be leaving. I'm going to Polka Town. That is where I met a girl one evening. Now I'm Saskatchewan bound. The wedding bells will ring out in Regina. It's the place where I intend to settle down and listen to the rhythm of a polka in Regina, the Polka Town. Regina, the polka town. My bags will soon be leaving I'm gonna poke a town That is where I met a girl one evening Now I'm Saskatchewan bound The wedding bells will ring out in Regina It's the place where I intend to settle down And listen to the rhythm of a polka In Regina, the polka town
Hey, there's Walter Austin at Regina, the Polka Town. And what a great tune that is. Hey, what a fantastic interview, folks. Uh, Jerry and I could have listened to his stories for the next several hours. And definitely, definitely what a remarkable background he has. And all the people that he knew Absolutely. and knows. I mean, just, that's unbelievable. So Les did a reminder, though, that the uh, interview that he did with Walter and Ed Gutsa and John, and John Goda, Goda is in the IPA archives. For anybody who's interested in seeing oh. that, it is an incredible interview. And if you haven't seen it yet, you definitely want to look into that one. So again, that's on the IPA archives. Okay. And you are going to want to check that out. Yeah. Oh, that's And especially with three heavy hitters like that. Oh, yeah. I can. With Ostanik, Gura. And Guta. Oh, come on. That's <laughs> that's unreal. It really is. Hey, Walter, once again, thank you so very, very much. I'm sure that somebody's going to make sure that they record this for him and be able to play it for him. As he mentioned, he doesn't have a computer, you know, and you kind of stop and think about that. A lot of people don't nowadays, and maybe we have to really stop and think what life would be if we just went about our our lives our daily lives without all of this electronics and the gadgetry and i mean stop and think about this if you left your house he talked about it he has a cell phone but he doesn't use it when you left your house if somebody needed to get a hold of you they'd have to wait until you got home yep and now we just make it so easy that uh you know people can get a hold of you 24 7. But Walter Ostenick, Canada's Polka King, we thank you guys for tuning in. We've got a few more songs uh, also by Walter. Let's go ahead and bring up a beautiful waltz, Over Three Hills. <laughs> She'll say yes, we'll never part I'll make her mine, my own sweetheart And when we wed, then I can say
Walter Austinick, and what a great tune that is, Over Three Hills Waltz. Hey, well, if you're just joining us, well, you just missed a fabulous, a fantastic interview with Canada's Polka King, Walter Austinick. We got a chance to walk down memory lane. He was telling us about a whole host of things that he has done over his career and just a fantastic guy and a fantastic career and more is yet to come. Speaking of more is yet to come, I think uh, Tommy Hoke is still with us. We're going to send this one out to him and Sam. And here is one by Eddie Blazoncheck and the Versatones. One of his favorite tunes. We haven't played this in a while. Here's Eddie with Polka Hero. When I was just a little boy, my father said to me, Come sit beside me, son, and tell me what you'd like to be. I thought a while and then I knew Just what I'd really like to do I smiled at Dad and this is what I said I wanna be a polka hero I wanna be a polka star Help him ja grać polską muzykę In the ballrooms and the clubs of cities near and far Sometime later on, I joined the little polka band. Concertina, trumpet, drums, and just one music stand. People came from miles around to listen to our happy sound. When they'd ask, I'd tell them of my plan. Hey, Lenny Linguski is tuned in here from Michigan. Lenny, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to have to maybe get Lenny on here for a, uh, an interview not too long from now. Maybe sometime in February or March if he's available and up to it. And uh, let's see here, who else? Oh, we're gonna say hello once again to Jan Dressler. As the years went by, our band became one of the best. We played Detroit, Buffalo, Chicago, and the West. Fans would come to hear us play that Chicago Port Nogi way. When they'd ask, I'd tell them once again. I want to be a polka hero. I want to be a polka star. Ciao, Vim Yagraj, Polska Musica. In the ballrooms and the clubs of cities near and far. Now I am a polka star, the leader of a band. Radio and TV shows fan clubs throughout the land. This music has been good to me. It's what I love to do, you see. Let me tell you once more, if I can. It's great to be a polka hero. It's great to be a polka star. In the ballrooms and the clubs of cities near and far. Hey, send a big shout out once again to Paul Trubish, tuned in. Also, Mr. Chuck Troiani. Chuck, nice to see you. Hey folks, it's Sarah Z, that's me from the Sarah Z, that's me polka show with your host Sarah Z, that's me and you're watching Polka's After Dark on our broadcast link with a C.com. 
And we thank Sarah Z for doing that. Hey, we're going to send a song out for her. Also, Tony Bozonchek and all the entire Bozonchek family. Jerry, why don't you go ahead and give another quick rundown of some of the people in the chat room. We're going to say hi to Chris Tansky, who is listening in with her granddaughter, Ella. Ella, hello to you. And we have uh, Chris Curtis with us as well. And Loretta and Tina. So we had the trifecta the in here. Curtis trifecta. <laughs> I love saying that. That's I do so too. Cool. Dave Lasowski is with us still. Donna Zelinsky with Teresa and Sarah. Ed Ryeski has joined us as well as Gil Wojtovich. Kathy Graves is back with us. It's always nice to see her. We have that. Yeah, them too. Oh, good. I haven't seen them in a long time. We have Les and Alice Kapuschinski, Marsha Moscato, Polka Patty, and Trisha Rolinder. Are you going to do Facebook? I am. All I'm right. going to say hi to Jason Flynn. He's tuned in. Gail Wojtovich, all the way out there in Lancaster. Boy, she's a long way away. Eleni Linguski, like I mentioned, he had the style sticks. I don't know if they're still playing or not, but they were a really cool group back in Michigan. And I think I have some uh, songs of his, so I'd love to get the opportunity to talk with him sometime and like I said maybe uh, we'll bring him on sometime in February or March whatever his schedule warrants uh, Lenny if you can send me a private message with your telephone number and I'd love to get a chance to chat with you also once again Mark Swagger which you mentioned Dennis Suter Dennis is also tuned in as well as Mark Komar Mark tunes us in every chance he gets. Jason Flynn also joined us, and Tony Bialy. Yeah. And John Sovchek and Ricky Crew. Uh, John and Marge. Hey, you know, you'd mentioned uh, Donna, Teresa, and Sarah, and we just happen to have a song up right here by the Brass Works, because, because we are going to... Was that, that your drum that roll? That was my drum roll. Ooh. <laughs> I'm getting better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you say... <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I'm drinking boy. Pepsi today, so you That's can't good. even blame it on the booze. That's good. Uh, I, I don't know. Are they a sponsor of ours? Are we allowed and to a show that or not? It's probably not. Do you ever notice in the movies how they have the wrapper yeah. of like the but bottle they, they of water? They show you just enough the... so you can see like the blue part. Yeah. And they cover up just the logo part. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, see, look what like I'm drinking. <laughs> I think that's like copyright infringement, but. Mm. Uh, we're better what with this. We're do? better with this one than the other one. <laughs> Enough said. We like this one better. Hey, so we're going to bring up Freddie Belinsky because Freddie's going to be our guest next week, Sunday, January the second. Hey, and speaking of January, that starts a new year. It does. You wanted to mention something. Uh, I do. To the I great do. folks out um, there. We're going to take a poll out there. Uh, Robin and I do not have set plans for New Year's Eve. So we thought maybe if you guys wanted to join us, we could do a show from like 1030 till 1230 and start the new year off with you guys because you have been a big part of our 2021 and we're hoping that you guys will be a big part of our 2022 yeah, that would be kind of cool so I'm as long as that. you guys are interested we're more than happy to hang out with you guys for a couple hours and then we can have some fun and some drinks and maybe like dress up and pretend uh, we're fancy yeah I think I dressed up last year, didn't I? I for yes, you did. Yeah, we both so did. did you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you it's always nice. nice to dress up, even yeah. though we're not going out. But no, no but we'd be out. happy to stay home with you guys if you'd like to join us. Yeah, please, uh, please think about that and let us know. If not, you can always catch the reruns on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube channel. It's Polkas After Dark at YouTube.com. Click the subscribe button because we want to see a whole bunch more subscribers in 2022 that would be really nice too here's a brass works a little bit of leftover me freddie on the vocal <laughs> hey for john and marge down there in the villages leftover biscuits leftover ham Leftover gravy in an old frying pan Leftover coffee, leftover tea Now I'm all alone, but she done leftover me Well, I asked my 
wife if I could go out with the boys Just a little party over at Jimmy Roy's She said, yes, honey, you know that I don't care What I didn't tell her, it was a three-day affair Leftover biscuits, leftover ham Leftover gravy in an old frying pan Leftover coffee, leftover tea Now I'm all alone, but she done left over me Well, Eddie Rayeski just commented, hey, that's a great idea, but 7.30 is my new midnight. <laughs> Only you, Edu. <laughs> Trust me, it's not only you. <laughs> we went to a party over at my neighbor's home. Me and the neighbor's wife in the kitchen all alone. She was making biscuits while I was making time. Caught in the act by that little old wife of mine Leftover biscuits, leftover ham Leftover gravy in an old frying pan Leftover coffee, leftover tea Now I'm all alone, for she done left over me Yes, now I'm all alone, for she done left over me Hey, here's Tony Bozonchek, a new phase. Tonight makes it one in the row. Makes it one in a row. Tonight I'll be drinking tequila And toasting to old Mexico Listening to Eddie and Scrubby And feeding that fire down below It's only been 24 hours since my baby walked out on me If everything's right I will make it tonight Cause I've got a sure remedy From sun up to sundown I'll take this one horsepower I don't give a damn if anyone knows I'll party on till the heartache is gone And tonight makes it one in a row Hey, say hello to Erica Belunda McMaster, all the way out there in Chi-Town, Chicago, Illinois. Hello to Mr. Rick Beekler. A belated Merry Christmas to you. He also say hi to Dale and Cheryl Voidilla. Hey, 
Hey, that's Tony Blazonchek entertaining you live here on a Polka's After Dark. That's New Phase. Don't forget, we're here every Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. and then Sunday afternoons from 5 to 7 right here on our broadcast link. With a C. Dot com. Also, <laughs> we are also entertaining on YouTube and Facebook Live. Yes, sirree. Ooh. We're glad you guys decided <laughs> to join us. This is a lot of fun. As it always has been. Uh, we do have a few people chiming in that they would love to start the the new end this year and start next year with us. So oh, we good. are definitely going to do the show. Good. We will start at 1030 to 1230. And if you want to dress up and send us over a picture before that so we can share your picture. Oh, that would be nice. That would be really cool to do. I'll bet you John and Marge would do that. I bet they would. And yeah. I think and Kathy Gail. Graves would. And Gail, Gail Wojtovich. She it's, did that last year, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's always nice to dress up. Yeah. But you guys got to get us the pictures. Even, you know, if you want to dress up, take a picture, and then take the clothes off and just put on your, your jogging suit. Yeah, your jogging <laughs> suit or your jammies or whatever. But, yeah, do that. Get them into us early, please. Like and I'm talking Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday. Well, yeah. Well, even Friday. They could do Early fr Friday. Yeah. You can't send it at 10 to no, 10 no. and expect it to be there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hey, if you guys want to send a photograph of yourself, a selfie, or have somebody taken a picture of you, by all means, please do so, so that we can show that on our New Year's Eve broadcast right here. And that's going to be from 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time all the way up to 12.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And you can send that out to Polkas After Dark. That's Polkas After Dark at gmail.com. So please make sure you do that. Get those pictures in. We'd love to be able to display them. And uh, again, we thank you guys so much for all that you do for Polkas After Dark. You know who else is going to do that? Oh. I can guarantee you. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. Jody, Jody and Sandy Maddie. <laughs> awesome. Jody and Sandy are watching over there on the YouTube channel. So thanks, guys, for that. Yeah, they'll put on, uh, he'll put on a nice uh, tuxedo and she'll put on an evening gown. No, you guys don't have to get that elaborate. Just put something really cool on. You can even have a goofy hat. Whatever you do to celebrate New Year's Eve, do that with us and send it to polkasafterdark at gmail.com. Send us a picture, a photograph, and we'll be more than happy to play it throughout the course of the broadcast. Hey, speak of the devil and he appears out of nowhere. Jody, Maddie, and the guys, here is one by the Honky Express, one called Cheminewachka, the Dark Eyes Polka, old Marion Lush tune. Hey, Linda, Chip Chack, Merwin, Marty, and the Chip Chacks are tuned in out there in Rochester. Janice J, we're also going to send a big shout out to you, kid.
Hey, Don Zastavna Romanzo, you're just in time. I know you work in the uh, entertainment industry and you might be busy on New Year's Eve. I don't know if you heard, Jerry, but we're going to be here New Year's Eve entertaining you folks too. Don't forget next week, uh, Saturday, it's going to be just a little bit different. We're going to be starting at 10.30 p.m. instead of 9 p.m. Only because, or I'm sorry, uh, Friday is New Year's Eve. Friday. Uh, Friday is New Year's Eve. Sorry, I stand corrected. I just looked at the calendar and I'm like, wait a minute. No, that's Saturday. <laughs> it's Friday night that we are going to be doing a very special broadcast from 10.30 p.m. Eastern until 12.30 a.m. Ringing in the new year with everybody, with you guys as well. I hope that you're able to join us. And those of you that can't, unfortunately, well, you'll just have to watch us on YouTube. And once again, if you go over to the YouTube channel, type in Polkas After Dark, We'd love to have you click the subscribe button because we're looking for a lot more subscribers on the YouTube channel. Hey, we're going to send this one out to Jason Flynn. He was always a big fan, always played. Uh, he played with Wanda and Stephanie. I had the pleasure of playing with him with Stephanie out in Ludlow, Massachusetts. And let's see, it was with uh, Mitchie Kapinski. Uh... Oh, the late Joey Rizak on trumpet and clarinet. And I played trumpet. And, of course, Jason did a great job on tubs, which he always does. He's the master of the sticks. So we're going to send one out to you there as well. She says, great. Uh, we'll listen after work. Works. She works until... Six. Six. Oh, well, that's good. Hopefully that's not 6 a.m. done. <laughs> Here's Wanda and Stephanie with one called I'll Be Back, Polka.
Hey, for Gail Wojtovich, she loves these guys, so do we. Man, they've grown up so much, though. Here's Box On, entertaining you on a Polka's After Dark, our broadcast link with a C.com. How I long to be with you, doing the things we love to do. We're gonna reunite in a week or two or so, doing the things we love to do. Yes, we could go to the park and we could swing on the swings and eat ice cream cones and I'll dance with you under the stars. We could jump on trampoline and run into the big blue sea. When I come to you, oh baby, that's what we will do. With you are the ones that I keep closest to my heart. I'm waiting for the sun someday to start. Imagine there'll be no time spent apart. Yes, we could go to the park and we could swing on the swings and eat ice cream cones and a dance with you under the sun. We could jump on trampoline and run into the big blue sea when I come to you. That's a live version of Box On, one called That's What We'll Do, Polka. Hey, don't forget to join us next week, Saturday, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., our regularly scheduled time. But also, coming up on Friday, we're going to have a very special, we'll make an announcement on Facebook, as well as a couple of other sites for you guys to remember and be reminded. Also, again, do not forget, send us a picture of you dressed up in your best New Year's Eve garb and send it to Polkas After Dark. That's Polkas After Dark at gmail.com. Send the photo. We'll make sure that we get it posted for you guys next week, Friday. Or should I say this week, Friday? Because today starts today the is week Sunday. is Sunday. Mm-hmm. Why don't you go ahead and say hello to some more people in the chat rooms? Sure. We have Chris Curtis still hanging out with us, Dave Lasowski, Donna Zelinski with Teresa and Sarah, and Ryeski still hanging out, Gail Wojtovich, Kathy Graves, Les and Ellis Kapuscinski, Marsha Moscato, and Marsha, 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 Trisha Rolander, as well as Dawn Romanzo, and Vincent Sosnowski, yeah, Erica Vinny. McMaster, John Subject, Tina Goble, Mark Schwoger. I did say earlier we had the trifecta, which is always a good thing. Yeah. We have Jason Flynn, Tony Biale. We have the Merwins tuned in, the Merwins and the Chip They're Chip-tacks doing the last of their Christmas celebration with their family today. Ah, so they're okay. listening in as they do that. Ricky Crew drop, dropped in to see us. Hello, Rick. Hello, Sue. Dan, the man, my brother, Mary Lou Cherniak. Dale and Cheryl Voidilla. Also, we're going to send a shout out to Joe Rindak, my brother, partner in crime. (laughs) And also, I got another partner in crime down there in Dunkirk. His name is Steve Gramala. I got to call him because I think I'm going to try to pay him a visit one day this week, either tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on. on vacation. I'm on vacation. How do you vacation when you work from home? I Uh, don't understand. It's it's nice, but I won't be doing anything different other than maybe sleeping in a little bit. Uh, but you have to work all week, do. don't you? Three days. Are you okay? You're off Thursday and Friday yep, again. I am. I got to put up with you Thursday and Friday during the day again. Ooh, wonder if Les and Alice would come and, and pick me up and maybe take me to their house for a couple of days. I check be, you over the border. Nice. Yeah, that would be nice. Hey, you know we had uh, 
we had the pleasure of talking with Canada's Poke King, Walter Ostenick, just a little while ago. If you guys missed it, the interview is available not only on Facebook Live, but it's also available on our YouTube channel. It's very easy to look up. Just go to youtube.com and it is right there. Uh, and just take a look at Walter Ostenick interview. That's how they're cataloged now with the date, PAD, and then it has the uh, six digit date format or six digit, no, it's a two digit day, two digit month, and four digit year. That's how we've done it. I had to stop thinking about that for a second. So that's eight. I, I couldn't remember. That's eight digits. That's eight digits, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> Look who's talking to somebody about math, will you? <laughs> hey, here's a song that uh, Big Steve had the pleasure of recording on a Grammy-winning CD over with Walter Ostenick. And here's one called, it's a medley, here's one called Take Me Baby and TikTok. I'm so in love with you. Tick, 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 tock is the rhythm it plays, and I know it won't make you feel blue. North, south, east, west, whichever is best, for I'll be happy, I know.
Hey, that's the late and the great. My partner in crime for many years gave me my start in the industry that I am still successfully in today, 36 years later. Is it going to be 37 next year? Um, yeah, well, I think. if this is 36. Well, 80, well I'm wondering, <laughs> okay. is this 36 or am I beginning 36? Let's see. Uh, let's see how good I am with math. 19, <sighs> Let me get my calculator. 80, 1985. <laughs> To 2020, that'll be 37 years. Right. Wow. Big Steve, I owe you a lot. You know that. And uh, it was just a lot of fun recording with him as well. Hey, we're going to say hi to, uh, to Janice. It looks like uh, Janice Burns, Burns is here. So we're going to say hello to you. Here's a beautiful tune by Lenny Gamolka, Chicago Push, one called Estelina. They were going to ask the beat, Mike Costa, and the beat 3.0 to take us all the way out. It is 7 o'clock already, but we're going to do one last song for you guys. Don't forget to join us Friday evening. That's this coming Friday. That's right, New Year's Eve, 1030 until 1230. So 1030 p.m. till 1230 a.m. Help us ring in the new year, would you please? And make sure that you share and let everybody know that we're going to be here Friday night.
Hey, on behalf of Jerry and I, we thank you guys very much. If you're not going to be able to join us for some reason Friday night, Happy New Year to everybody. And then we will see you on Saturday night from 9 p.m. until 11. You slip that little ring around my finger. Once again, we want to thank you for being a very special part of our 2021, and we look forward to sharing 2022 with you as well. Until then, stay safe. We love you and can't wait to see you soon. Hey, good night. Have a great week, folks. I know I will. I'm off. And Lesson Ellis, the uh, offer is still good. I will ride out with you guys for Thursday and Friday, so I don't have to be here. Well, until the evening, you can drop me off. <laughs>